you guys know I have a podcast, it's linked down below. It's Nicole Jacklin podcast. I post new episodes every single Friday. My slime shop is restocked and it is linked down below. It's slimebyjacklin.com. Hey you guys, what is up and welcome back. You guys know my slime is officially on target.com. I will have exact links down below to all four of my butter scoops slimes. And of course I will have my slime shop down below for you guys. Go and check it out. If you guys get these, please mention me on Instagram stories, tag me on Instagram posts, uh, mention me on TikTok. If you wanna do that, I can do Reddit and I can respond to it that way on TikTok as well. And of course, I will have my video guide for you guys down below to pre-order. And yes, definitely go snatch it because it is such a iconic guide and I am so freaking proud of it, you guys. Y'all are going to be so shook. Like this is a very informational guide and I'm working on creating a bunch of other video courses that you can order just like this one that will come out in the next few months. So stay tuned. Honestly, I am so excited. Right, you guys, part three of the series, we're finally here. So today I am making over my fruity scented smoothie slime. Now I love this one. I think it's so cute because it is the only smoothie in the collection. Comment down below your favorite one. I think my favorite one is the smoothie one. I don't know what it is about it. I just love it. So this is how the slime comes in a super cute little packaging. The little eyes kill me. I love how there are so many different add-ins to the slime. It has bingsu beads, a charm, and then each individual butter scoop has an individual package of like add-ins like sprinkles or little mini like foam balls i love that so much but this one i decided that the butter scoop the actual like butter slime itself is going to be the clay add-in and tis the season for spring i know it's like basically so winter but we are being hopeful miss girl so this is going to be the bunny topper. So I actually found this clay mold and I was so overjoyed because I forgot I bought this last year. Plot twist, never used it for my slime shop because I lost it. This year, it's happening. So I wanted to go for this like Easter themed slime. So I made the little clay topper a little bunny. So, so cute. <laughs> and then I made some clear slime up to kind of act as the base. And I was trying to kind of brainstorm some different things to do here because, you know, it's an Easter slime. So I want it to be bright, pastel, super fun and like, I don't know, Easter egg hunting vibes. So I added in these little rainbow flown beads that I have um, myself and I added them into this slime and it just looks like a bunch of, kind of reminds me of a nerd's rope, which reminds me of like an Easter basket. And then I'm just like, wow, I need to like really get into these like new, um, I love a good holiday for making slime. It's so much more fun to have a theme. So yes, we have a little Easter egg hunting vibes. <laughs> And I just love how crunchy this is, how it's just like the best like crunchy slime ever. And it's going to be the best when you mix in the butter scoop into the base of this. It's going to be phenomenal. So then I actually went and I took some of this really pretty, um, what do you want to call this? It's like a super soft neon yellow clay. And I drizzled it around the outside of the jar. And then I put some glitter on top, the little bunny add-in, the little bunny clay add-in is just the cutest. And then these little pom-poms came with the smoothie slime, which look so cool with this. Like this slime just kind of worked out for the best. Like it just looks so fun and exciting and just like Easter vibes all the way. Fun fact, I actually have miniature eggs, like miniature fake charm eggs that I got from like Joanne Fabrics years ago. And we finally found a way to use them. And then I topped it off with the bingsu beads that came with the slime. And then I also added on top the little bunny charm, which ironically, it was a bunny. I actually did not plan that. So that's pretty cool, a win for me. Comment down below a name for this slime. I'm kind of getting like Easter, Easter party, Easter basket party. I don't know. Comment down below because you guys are the ones that are creative.
next up we are doing a makeover of one of my little purple ice cream butter scoop slimes and I love these ones as well they are so cute they come in purple and pink this has a nice sweet treat scent to it it comes with some bingsu beads a little charm and some more add-ins and then for this one I decided that I wanted to build upon the butter scoop just build it up just keep building a giant slime out of it. So I went ahead and I added the butter scoop slime to a beautiful, you know, nice white glue base. And that makes a nice, like, a nice, like, sleigh slime, if you will. A very nice, like, half and half buttery, slimy texture. And then I was like, okay, how can we... Honestly, you guys, as I'm, like, recording, my brain is like planning the slime out because that's how I work sometimes. <laughs> so I decided that I wanted to go for a buttery bingsu slime. So I added in some bingsu beads, this beautiful slime. I love bingsu beads. And just so you guys know, I just purchased a giant wholesale order so I can sell them in my slime shop. I know, very excited. And I do sell these pink ones right now. I only have pink ones and I only have them in smaller um, baggies for sale. That's it. So stay tuned for that and I'll do an updated slime supplies haul on my on this channel when that comes in. So stay tuned for that. But I personally really love the buttery bingsu texture. I'm not even sure if this is a real texture that everyone does. I don't know but I kind of discovered this from doing makeovers about a year and a half ago or a year ago ish and I was just like obsessed. It's a great like mixture of soft but crunchy. It's a really nice texture, honestly. So then I went ahead and I decided to classically do a clay insert because I have been recently obsessed with this little like waffle clay maker. I added some black clay and added that on top and then I drizzled down the slime, added more bingsu beads, love how this looks, added the confetti that the butter scoop slime came with in the container and then I placed the um, excess on the outside as well. I'm kind of going for like a waffly cupcake vibe here. I added on the bingsu beads that came with the butter scoop slime. I added on the charm as well and decided to take a little bit excess of some clear slime and add some bingsu beads and some confetti and then drizzle that on top to kind of act as a true cupcake vibe. I'm not even sure if even like a waffly cupcake slime is a real thing but I think it looks really cool and personally I just love how this looks so chic and just so cool and so just like iconic. Comment down below a fun name for this slime. This slime was truly transformed so so much. I truly cannot believe where this slime began. And I definitely want to do a part four of this series. I have some really fun ideas, especially as I am, you know, washing this back right now. So if I should do a part four, give the video a thumbs up. Like this video, comment down below your favorite ones. And I'll be sure to do more for you guys in the future. And yeah, you better stay tuned because so much is coming. You guys know my slime is officially on target.com i will have exact links down below to all four of my butter scoops slimes and of course i will have my slime shop down below for you guys go and check it out 
If you guys get these, please mention me on Instagram stories, tag me on Instagram posts, uh, mention me on TikTok. If you wanna do that, I can duet it and I can respond to it that way on TikTok as well. And of course, I will have my video guide for you guys down below to pre-order. And yes, definitely go snatch it because it is such a iconic guide and I am so freaking proud of it, you guys. Y'all are going to be so shook. Like this is a very informational guide and I'm working on and creating a bunch of other video courses that you can order just like this one that will come out in the next few months. So stay tuned. Honestly, I am so excited. And yes, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye guys.